Hello lovely peoples. Um, it's a lovely cool day today. It's only it's only 27 degrees in the shed. Woohoo! Actually it's quite nice in here. It's not uncomfortable. Um, it's raining outside but anyway I got my soap stamp today so I thought we'd give it a whirl. Um, I've got a feeling it's going to be a little I think the lines in between the flame are going to be a little thin so we'll give it a whirl and what I have here is a soap that is a month old and a soap that is a week old I just wanted to try it on both purely because well purely just because like I'm super forgetful so I know <laughs> that I'm going to forget to stamp things in a week. So I need to know how well this actually works on a soap that is a month old. So let's line her up. I bought the rubber mallet in from the van. Okie dokie, so it needs a bit more of a whack. Yeah, the van I have also discovered now does not open the back door. Oh, I don't know what's happened. Which is going to be great to get shit out for the markets, isn't it? Uh, where's the thing? So it's a bit hard to whack really hard on this. Uh, actually, I've got an idea. This is my piece of timber that I lay my um, resin pieces on. So let's give that a clean. It'll just help disperse the smackerage. <laughs> Macarage. Right, uh, making up words again. I'm making up words again. You ready? Yeah, it's splitting the soap and you're not getting anything in the middle whatsoever. So, obviously, a month old soap is not very good. Uh, let's give that a bit of a clean. That's just isopropyl alcohol. It's not this digger's brand. This stuff's really expensive. I get it off eBay uh, from a nail tech place. It's super cheap. I'm going to do this this side so we can see it a bit better. Oh, that's right. I forgot to have lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> I was thinking, why am I so hungry? And then I realised it's still sitting on the bench waiting for me to put it in the microwave. All right, ready? <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that's pretty much what I figured. That's kind of a waste of money. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I mean, it's kind of my symbol. I mean, can you guys even see that? Like, it's just, yeah. It's definitely not something that I would put time and effort into. Um, I'll go grab another piece of this. I grabbed a piece of the energy which was made the same day. Um, so we might see if we can't make this go in a bit deeper. I'll do it on the purple where we can see it. Oh. <laughs> uh, that was a little too deep. I guess I'm keeping that piece. Yeah, no, so even if I'm smacking it in that deep, which is deforming the soap, it's still not giving me any details whatsoever so while I would have liked to have recommended this person for their soap supplies uh, uh, for their soap stamps I'm actually not going to because if I'm being honest and I'll be honest because I'm not giving you their name so I'm not slandering them and I'm not gonna you know make them lose any business but if they make soap stamps and they know what they're doing they should have known that these lines in here were going to be too thin to make any sort of impression on a bar of soap <coughs> so yeah so uh, to say that I'm disappointed because all of I mean the soap stamp itself cost me $35 and then postage on top you know, it was close to 50 bucks since, and this is now something that's just going to just sit in my cupboard and do absolutely nothing because 
honestly, I don't see the point in that. Like, it's clearly not my logo. My logo is a, is a flame with these things in the middle. So, and the whole point is one side's supposed to represent a flame and the other's supposed to represent a water drop, which is because I make soap and candles. So, <coughs> anyway, now that the rain has decided to start in earnest, and it's getting a little loud in here, I'm going to go have some lunch and then I'm going to come back out and make some soap, which will never get stamped. So, there you go, there's my honest review. Um, yeah, so if, you, if you're going to get a. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> if you're going to get a soap stamp made, I would strongly suggest if you have thin lines, you can see in the reflection there, if you're going to have thin lines in your design, they are not going to translate to your soap at all. Um, I would suggest you either get your business name instead, which I'm kind of wishing I had it done now, and then I could just put Wicked League Goods across the bottoms of the soaps, or make sure that those lines are a lot wider so that you are getting the detail because that is definitely nowhere near detailed enough like this is fresh soap it's a week old you know you're not going to get to stamp anything of newer than that unless you do it the day you get it that's right that's just the bendy <laughs> and um yeah I mean yeah, that's just super disappointing. So, anyway, that's my review of these stamps. So, and, you know, things to look out for. Alright, okay, well that's a nice quick video. My God, I might make this Friday's video because I haven't uploaded anything yet and this should only take me about three hours to upload. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I'm disappointed, but I'm glad I could share it with you guys so you know what to look out for and, um, yeah, cool, All right. To